Welcome to the penultimate episode of a model steam engine test plant. This is part 31. Fitted with the modified gas burners and the new number 3 live steam injector, it is time to see if the boiler raises steam in a reasonable time and maintains the pressure. I'm not going to labour the point and show me putting this plant back together. You've already seen the assembly of it in a previous episode. But now it has a slot in the baseboard to allow me to unscrew the burners should I ever need to without having to disconnect the fittings and remove the boiler from the plant. I fitted the two BA boiler mountings to the frame that supports the boiler and secured the mounting frame to the baseboard using nuts and washers. Then all I had to do was secure the two boiler bands that hold the boiler in place to the main mounting. The water level in the water gauge is intentionally low because I need it like this so I can test the injector. What I'm doing here using a piece of mahogany is tapping the jet mounts into the Venturis. The gas definitely burns cleaner when these jets are in a lower position. The higher the jets, the more smelly the products of combustion are from the chimney. I need to repipe the injector. The first pipe here is not perfect. Because of the small fittings on the boiler, it has to be 4mm or 532nd pipe, and I'm using an adapter cone where it screws into the injector. Then it was, oh no, shock horror, I'd run out of 3 sixteenths of an inch diameter copper pipe. Luckily, I found this piece of brass pipe that was 3 sixteenths of an inch diameter. I annealed it by heating it to red and letting it cool slowly, then I bent it to shape and silver soldered on the fittings. I'm going to be more scientific in this steam test of the plant. First of all, I've routed the blowdown valve from the water gauge into a plastic tub with water in it, which holds the gas tank to stop it chilling. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to pump lots of boiling water into this tank, it's just to keep the existing water aired, so the gas tank, in theory, will not chill. Once again, I'm not using a brand new gas tank for this test, I'm using a part full one. If everything works out okay today, tomorrow I will be testing my Stuart Models Twin Victoria using the plant. I can see an immediate difference in the performance of the boiler. In no time at all the pressure is at 25 pounds per square inch and the water's dancing up and down in the water gauge, showing that it's boiling. I thought it would be a good idea to set my mobile phone stopwatch running at the side of the plant to just see how fast things happen. With the time on the stopwatch at around 8.35, look at the pressure, 50 pounds per square inch. The speed of steam raising really is much faster than it was. Time to check the live steam injector. I open the water valve fully, although really I don't need to, and then I open the steam valve. Next, I reduce the water inlet to the injector with the water valve. And when I get the ratio right of the feed water relative to the steam supply, the injector makes a wonderful sound. At this point, I did notice there was a leak on the steam inlet to the injector. I think I need to replace this union. But I don't care. Look, it's working. The water level is rising up the glass at a good rate. Obviously, the pressure inside the boiler is dropping as the cold water enters it. But this wonderful Jubilee fittings injector continued to pump water into the boiler even at 20 psi. Then, of course, it started making a sound like this, and I turned it off. Now I need to allow some time for the pressure to build back up, and then I'm going to open the injector's water valve and steam valve and put some more water in the boiler. At this point, I'm changing the gas tank, because the gas really was very low inside it. For these initial tests, I'm using part-full gas canisters. I fitted this one and relit the burners. To test run the Stuart Twin Victoria tomorrow, I'm going to use a brand new gas canister, completely full to the top, with 70% butane and 30% propane. But also tomorrow, to raise steam initially, I will use the gas canister that's currently connected, because I do not want to end up with lots of gas canisters part full. I think it's time to look at the stopwatch, which is rapidly approaching 18 minutes. And at this point, the safety valve goes, which is a great time. Don't forget, I've just disconnected the gas tank. 
and also I've injected cold water into the boiler on a couple of occasions. Look where the water level is now. The injector is working perfectly. This is a much better way of filling the boiler than using a hand pump, which is tedious at best. Sometimes I use steam pumps, but on this test plant I'm just using a live steam injector. It's simpler, and once they're fitted and working, they are generally trouble free. Here I'm checking out the leak. What's happening here is the steam is leaking from where the pipe meets the injector. It's at this point I notice that the check valve is not sealing perfectly. I'm going to sort out the piping and the leaking check valve before tomorrow's test. So hopefully the test will be trouble free and the engine will run and the boiler will make plenty of steam, the injector will inject and the burners will burn. With only £25 per square inch on the pressure gauge, I open the valves and the injector kicks in. It's looking good. And because of the clean burn, there's less chance of me dying of carbon monoxide poisoning. That's it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.